Okay, so next we will show that the Michael line is first countable. So proof. Let x be an irrational number. And let the collection script b sub x be the set which contains the singleton containing x. Then, for every open neighborhood, u of x, the point x is in the singleton containing it, which is a subset of the set u. And hence the collection script b sub x is a countable neighborhood basis at the point x. So now let x be a rational number. Let the collection script b be the set of all open intervals from a to b where a and b are rational numbers. and let the collection script v sub x be the set of all elements in the collection script b that contain the point x then since the collection script b is countable And the collection script b sub x is a subset of the collection script b. The collection script b sub x is also countable. Now for every open neighborhood, u of x, there exists an open interval of the form, the open interval from a to b, and the basis for the topology of the Michael line. such that the point x is in this interval, which is contained in the set u. Now since a, b, and x are real numbers, such that a is less than x, which is less than b, there exist rational numbers p and q, such that A is less than P, which is less than X, which is less than Q, which is less than B. And so the point X is in the open interval from P to Q. This is a subset of the open inter interval from A to B, which is in turn a subset of the set U. That is, There exists an element, b sub x, which is the open interval from p to q, in the collection script b sub x, such that the point x is in this element, which is a subset of the set u. Hence, the collection script b sub x is a countable neighborhood basis at the point x. And so in either case,
for every real number x, there exists a countable neighborhood basis. at the point x, and therefore the Michael line is first countable. So next we will show that the Michael line is regular So proof, let x be a real number, and let u be an open neighborhood, of the point x. Now if x is an irrational number, then the point x is in the singleton containing it, and the singleton is equal to its closure, and this is contained in the set u. Now if x is a rational number, then there exists a basic open set of the form the open interval from A to B such that the point X is in this interval which is contained in the set U. Now since A, B, and X are real numbers such that A is less than X which is less than b. There exist irrational numbers, r and s, such that a is less than r, which is less than x, which is less than s, which is less than b. And so the point x is in the closed interval from r to s, and this is a subset of the open interval from A to B, which in turn is contained in the set U. Now since the complement of the closed interval from R to S is the union of the open ray from negative infinity to R with the open ray from S to positive infinity, and this is a union of open sets in the Michael line, it is open, and hence the closed interval from R to S is closed. Now since the closed interval from R to S is the union of the singleton containing the irrational number R with the open interval from R to S with the singleton containing the irrational number S and this is a union of open sets in the Michael line. It is open And so the point x is in the closed interval from R to S, which is equal to its closure. 
which is contained in the set U. So in either case, for every real number X and for every open neighborhood, U of X, there exists an open neighborhood V of X such that the closure of V is contained in the set U and therefore the Michael line is regular. So as an exercise, show that the Michael line is normal. And as a hint, I will tell you that the proof is very similar to the proof that the sorgen fray line is normal. OK, so new definition. Let the set K be the set of all rational numbers of the form 1 over n where n is a positive integer and let the collection script B be the set of all open intervals from A to B where A and B are real numbers together with the complement of the set K the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B where a and B are real numbers. The topology generated by the collection script B is called the K topology on the rails. Now the space of reals with the K topology is denoted R sub K. So as a third exercise, show that the collection script B In the definition, of the K topology, on the reals, satisfies the conditions for a topology generated by a basis and as a fourth exercise show that the K topology on the rails is strictly finer than the standard topology on the rails but is not com comparable with either
apologies. of the Sorgan Frey line or the Michael line. Okay, so we'll end here for today. Next time we will wrap up our study of these exotic topologies and we'll look at why they are important. So I hope you have enjoyed the 23rd lecture. Thanks for watching.